Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys another LLM, which is called Chameleon. And this is a new LLM that was recently released, and it has been getting a lot of liking recently. Now, basically what this LLM is, it's a compositional reasoning framework that enhances the abilities of other LLMs. And its main feature is its ability to synthesize programs that combines various types of tools, which you can see over here, such as an LLM model, as well as an off-shell version of other models. It also utilizes the web search engines, Python functions, as well as other rule-based models and basically it customizes it for the user's interest when they ask a certain procedure. And this is something that we'll be checking out later on in the video. So with that thought, if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so, turn on the notification bell. And if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so guys. There's a lot of content catered to different types of niches in the AI world. So I highly recommend that you check it out. And with that thought, let's get right into it. So what is Chameleon LLM? In this video, we're going to be talking a little bit about what it is, as well as going a little bit deeper into understanding its benefits, as well as the significant improvements that it has compared to other LLMs. We'll also be looking at some, some examples as to how it works, as well as how it operates. So with that thought, let's get right into it. So basically, Chameleon LLM is designed to be a plug-and-play framework, which is something that they market with their actual LLM. And now what does this actually mean? Well, it's basically easily integrated into existing LLM models. So basically what they're trying to do is have their framework so that this LLM can be combined as well as integrated with other LLMs in which it can help the process capabilities of LLMs to act as a planner for composing a certain sequence of tools that is needed to actually generate a certain response for the user's query. And this is something that is demonstrated in their image over here, as well as their example. Now, let's take a little dive deeper as to what it's trying to do. So basically what happens is that there's different queries that you can give it as a user. Obviously, we're just going to look at one of them, which is the middle one. And basically what we're asking is that, which is the main persuasive appeal used in this ad? If we see this ad over here. Obviously, if I let me zoom in a little bit. I'm not going to be able to get the best image but you're able to see this ad over here and what it's asking for is that what is the actual appeal of it so there's the answer pathos which is the emotion type of appeal second is the ethos which is a character type of appeal and the last one is logos which is the reasoning of a type of appeal so what is the appeal that is used in this ad is what the query is asking now basically when this query is sent to the llm the LLM then sends it to the next stage, which is a text detector, which is using Python, as well as a vari wide variety of different encoders that analyze the text, as well as the image. Obviously, you can see in this, there's an image captioning tool, which uses utilizes Hugging Face. And from that encoder, it is sent to the knowledge retrieval, which could be another web browser or a web service provider that searches for it. And this is something that we can see down below. Basically, the query is generated. The thing is all also sent to a Bing search. In this case, it is Bing search. It also uses any other different types of LLMs. In this example, we see ChatGPT. Basically, once that solution is retrieved, it is gathered and is sent to the generator, which is then processed. And once that is done, it is then given the answer. And in this case, we are able to see that we got the ethos answer for this actual question that they asked and basically this is how it basically operates and it basically what it does is that it analyzes the advertising to determine what is the persuasive appeal that is used and we're able to see that it scans the actual image using its image encoders as well as using using different types of input encoders for contextual reports of the query and what it does it goes through this process that uses tools to actually analyze both of the inputs and it gives you an output depending on what your input is trying to ask for and this is something that's really cool guys because we've seen this with different types of LLMs but I'll be differentiating like what this actual LLM does compared to the other ones shortly in this video now in terms of highlighting the benefits of chameleon LLM basically it's its flexibility now the thing that it can be incorporated in a wide variety of tools and customized depending on 
what the user's interest is. Now, this is something that means that the LLM can adapt into different scenarios as well as domains, making it suitable for a variety of applications. And we can see that in this tool case over here in which it can use different types of tools, all different types of cases of scenarios. It could be using image, web, known, math, and as well as different tables. It also uses different interfaces and extensions that utilizes it. And one great thing that I really like is that how it's able to integrate different LLMs in the process of doing so. So this is one of the great things that they emphasize on as it uses different components to actually utilize its LLMs and different scenarios for different using user queries. So this is one of the notable advantages that I was able to think about when seeing this actual white paper as well as anal analyzing what the actual LLM is trying to achieve. Now another L advantage of this LLM is that its ability to handle complex queries that requires a lot of reasoning. And basically, for example, we can see that if a user asks for a list of like maybe the tallest mountain in the world, the LLM is actually able to synthesize a program that combines the actual web search engine to find the relevant information, which I talked about at the start, and a rule-based model that is to filter the results to generate the response that basically satisfies the actual query. And this is an example that I really wanted to show you guys as this is quite remarkable, guys, because if you can see right here, this is actually one of the examples of their actual LM and how it processes certain information. So we can see that it's able to you're able to give it a like a table of like taxes as well as like a financial report. And in this financial statement, we're able to see at look at Bronson's pay stub. And obviously, I mean, sorry, this is not a financial report, but it's a pay stub. And basically what it's saying is that Bronson lives in a state that has state income tax. How much did Bronson make after taxes? And we're able to see the date as well as when the pay stub period was, as well as get a better understanding of the federal income tax, as well as the stable income tax, including other income taxes. And we see that over here with this total earn earnings. So what this actual LLM does is that you the query, like the user sends a query to the actual LLM, LLM then gives it to the knowledge retrieval. And we can see over here that it processes the retrieval using different encoders, which we saw it could use Hugging Face, it could use different web browser services, as well as different applications. If it's a, another integrated LLM, it also processes the inf information using the actual LLM. But in this case, it's actually going to retrieve it from the web. And then it sends it to a table verbalizer, which analyzes the actual table, going through each line and understanding what the actual uh, units are in the actual table. And once that is done, the program then generates a certain answer as well as it reads the answer and gives a certain simplified version of what the table is. And obviously the program verifies it. Then the program starts to execute it using different commands that is found online. And we can see that over here that it then generates the final answer. Obviously it's able to do it with different things with like such as tables, different timings. And these are some of the examples that they stated with how they're able to retrieve it using chat GPT-4. And it also gives a mathematical reasoning benchmark with tabular context, which is quite amazing guys, because it shows how flexible this actual LLM is in terms of how the use cases of it, as well as how it goes through finding different complex reasonings to basically find the right objective for the user's query. Now here's the actual breakdown of the tool types that it actually uses. We can see that it uses OpenAI's ChatGPT4. This is basically used for knowledge retrieval, query generator, row lookup, column lookup. This is for the actual tables itself. It uses Hugging Face for the image captioner, which is the encoders that processes the images. At the current moment, it doesn't actually process any videos, but it's something that I believe that they're working on. So it's something to actually look out for. Now it also utilizes GitHub for text detectors, web search for, they use Bing specifically to process and find information on the web. They don't have any data sets in particular that they use, obviously because they have integrated LLMs, which processes their database or their data structures for their web like surfing. And now they also use Python, which is a program verifier as well as a program executor. And you get the basic answer generator using these different tools for your basic user query. So we talked about how one of the main 
advantages of this LM is its ability to integrate with a wide range of tools and customize them based off of the user's interest. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the significant improvements that are observed with Chameleon over the actual fine-tuned models. And we can see in this graph over here. And basically, it's in these experiments, er, experiments sorry, the authors as well as the researchers of this actual project were able to find that the performance of Chameleon LLM with that of a fine-tuned LLM model, as well as a shot prompted GPT-4 ChatGPT model on a variety of tasks. And basically they sent out these different tasks to all of these models. Now, this included like question answering, dialogue generation, and image captioning. And what we were able to find from this interest is how great of a report that Chameleon was actually able to do compared to these other like basic LMs. Obviously, they're not able to beat all of them all the time, but in this case, they were actually able to using ChatGPT4. Obviously, this is because this is a small research group and a small company that is focusing on this LM, whereas OpenAI has so much backing and funding to actually do such things. So obviously, you got to keep that in mind when you're trying to compare certain things. Now, in terms of the results showed by Chameleon LLM, it outperformed both fine tool models and it shot and, and as well as the few shot prompted GPT-4 slash GPT models on all the tasks. Now, for example, I believe there is one task that they were able to get an example of, and that was a dialogue generation task. And in this case, the Chame Chameleon LLM was able to achieve a 10%, 16.6% higher score than the fine tune models and an 11.3%, I believe, increase a score from the few shot prompted GPT-4 models. And this is just quite some of the remarkable achievements that this LM was able to do. And one of the craziest things is that not a lot of people know about this guys. And this is why I have this channel because I'm always going to be emphasizing a little bit more on some of the lower low key ones, low key LMs out there. Cause those are the ones that always have a lot of different like ideas and visions that a lot of people don't know about. So I highly recommend that you check this out, guys, because there's a lot of different things that you can get out of this from. And there's a lot of use cases that you will definitely benefit from. Obviously, I'm going to show you how to install it in a couple of seconds. But in terms of what you can do with this, guys, there's a lot of things. Obviously, it focuses on the questionnaire as well as complex answering, like complex solving of different types of scenarios. They're also focusing on a lot of different things such as like text summarization, personalized recommendation, as well as image captioning. And these are some of the things that the team is actually focusing on in coming weeks. So I highly recommend that you keep a tab on this because it's going to be very beneficial for you guys. Now, in terms of the actual release and licensing, the data rights now is solely for research and non-commercial use. So make sure you keep that in mind. Now, I highly recommend that you check this paper out because there's a lot of different information as to what their data sets as well as what they're trying to focus on and a little bit more of their analysis of what they're trying to do and what they're trying to accomplish. So definitely recommend that you check it out. Uh, I'll leave all the links down in the description below. And in terms of installing it, you need to have an open AI key, obviously, as well as a Bing search API key. And you can install this locally, I believe. And what you're able to do is utilize their chatbot at the moment to run different types of scenarios for basic needs. And obviously, obviously, this is for non-commercial use, so keep that in mind. And with that thought, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you got some sort of value out of this LLM. Obviously, this is something that is not known, as you can see over here. So keep that in mind. There might be a lot of bug bugs and errors, so this is something to note as this is a very new project and they're going to continuously work on basically innovating it as well as growing it over the coming weeks. So I hope you found this video very helpful, guys. Please check out some of my older videos. And with that thought, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing weekend. Peace out, fellas.